Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and Pioneers of Olive Town has gotten two of its main expansion areas added to the game so far. The Olive Town expansion pass will add three brand new areas to the game, with one still coming out soon. Two of them, however, are out now. One of them is the Windswept Falls, and the other is the Terracotta Oasis. Not only do we get brand new areas, we also get returning characters from past games. The Windswept Falls expansion brings characters from Harvest Moon A New Beginning. Neil, Felicia, they changed her name from Felicity and I'm still getting used to it, Dunhill, and Hina, with Neil and Felicia being marriage candidates in all of town. The same goes for the Terracotta Oasis as well. It brings characters back from the first Story of Seasons game, those characters being Rhaegar, Iris, Giorgio, and Marion, with Rhaegar and Iris being new marriage candidates for Olive Town. Now by far the coolest thing about these expansion areas is that you can marry the old marriage candidates. You can give them gifts, increase their friendship, watch romantic scenes with them, and marry them. It's really cool, and I know there are a ton of fans of the old marriage candidates already. Trust me, you you guys have let me know how much you love Rager. <laughs> Trust me, I know. This currently brings up the number of available marriage candidates in all of town from 10 to 14, until the other expansion area shows up. Now, Windswept Falls was a pretty anticipated part of the expansion pass for me, since I'm like, I learned one of the three people who enjoyed a new beginning back in the day. It has the slowest start I've ever seen of any game in my life, but it gets good, I swear, I just love it. But I can't lie, I was pretty disappointed with this expansion. So both Windswept Falls and Terracotta Oasis is accessed by a boat that sits outside of your house. The Windswept Falls Island itself is made up of three houses where the four characters live. The area itself is kind of pretty, I guess? It has a big waterfall with flowers growing in the grass next to it, and that's it. That's all there is. There's nothing to do either, no wild items or animals to pick up or interact with. I mean, you can fish! Thank god for that, you can fish in the waterfall, but, but that's it. I don't know, when I heard we were getting three brand new areas to the game, with such interesting names like Terracotta Oasis or Windswept Falls, I expected them to be areas we could explore a little, you know, find brand new items or animals in. I thought it would quite literally add to the game and its map, which all of town desperately needs, by the way. But no, there's nothing here except for the characters themselves. They're fine, by the way. I was always a fan of both Neil and Felicia, so it's nice to see them back. And their dialogue seems a bit better than the original dialogue of the residents of Olive Town. You know, before the patch we got that adds a ton of dialogue and fixes previous dialogue. Like, the new characters' dialogue still rolls over all the time, but what they do say is more interesting than what the old characters used to say, so they're fine, I guess. All four of them also have quite a few of their own scenes. Neil and Felicia have their romance scenes with the player, of course, but there's also some scenes of the characters going about their day, fishing, talking about their home. However, just like the area they're in, that's it. If you aren't interested in marrying one of the characters from A New Beginning, then there's really nothing here for you. There isn't a new area to explore, because what you see in pictures is exactly what you get. I spent about five minutes in Windswept Falls for the first time. I went there on stream, and I felt like I saw everything. In fact, if I didn't plan on marrying Felicia on stream, then I wouldn't have really had any reason to go back. I would have loved for the new areas to have a little walking path or small second area that acted the same way as your farmland does. There could have been trees you could cut down, flowers you could harvest, maybe even like a new animal or two you could tame and bring back. But no. It just feels like a cage that was built to hold the new characters until you marry one of them. There's nothing here. Even the new marriage candidates themselves, their character and personality aside, these characters at a base marriage candidate level for the game are worse than the Olive Town candidates because they can't wear any of the DLC costumes you get for the marriage candidates. But the big one for me is everyone's talking about how the DLC candidates won't go to Olive Town festivals. There aren't a lot of festivals in Olive Town, with half of them being cutscenes only, so it would make a lot of sense to try and make what few festivals you do have the best they can be. But I guess nobody thought about having the DLC marriage candidates at least show up if you're married. And keep in mind that everything I said here checks out for Terracotta Oasis as well. However, at least Terracotta Oasis looks prettier in my opinion, but I mean, it's still empty. It's the exact same as Windswept Falls. You could even fish there! God, thank god we can fish there. Could you imagine if we couldn't fish? Don't even want to imagine it. But it is the exact same. You have the four characters hanging out in an area that doesn't have anything interesting to interact with or do besides fishing. I think the biggest problem for me in all this is the fact that they designed these whole empty areas just to hold the new characters. It doesn't add anything to Olive Town. It doesn't add anything to the map. Nothing. 
The thing that I really don't get though is that this was their chance to actually add to the game. This was their chance, with the awful reception this game got in Japan at launch, and the extremely mixed reception it got here in the West, this was their chance to add areas and characters to the game, to expand it in fun and interesting ways. But this is what we got, like this is what we got, and you have to pay for this as well. I mean, you do get other stuff with the expansion pass, like the costumes or the extra scenes, but come on, this was the bulk of the expansion pass. You were excited for this. I really wish they had just added a new path off to the side of Olive Town that you could go down and it would take you to the area they lived in. Because imagine this, okay? Imagine the new characters walking around Olive Town, going about their day with everyone else. It would be really cool to see, plus it could get rid of a few of the same looking tourists and replace them with actual characters. Now, I don't need a whole subplot of interactions, but even a few scenes between the new characters and the all of town characters. It would have been great. If that's too much though, which it probably is based on the look of the expansion areas, then I'll take the new characters just mentioning the all of town characters as they're walking around town. Minimum, like that's all you needed. Just think of walking off to the side of all of town and coming to a road with three paths like in Trio of Towns and having those three paths be the expansion areas. Like, come on, you did this before, it was right in front of you and you messed it up. But if I'm being honest, I don't know what I was expecting. All of Town launched in such a rushed, awful state with so many problems that the team had to officially apologize for it and promise updates that we're still getting. I don't really know why I thought so much of these new areas before it released. A lot of the stuff I said I would have liked to see here in this video, I wasn't actually expecting to get. But I was expecting something more than just a cage for the characters, and I think that's because I could see the potential. I could see the room for the creativity and growth. But now, the last thing that I'm looking forward to is seeing the final area. The Twilight Isle, and having it just look the exact same as the other two, but with nothing more than a color swap. Like I said before, if you're interested in marrying one of the old marriage candidates, then you've got something here. Especially because this is the first time you've been able to marry these candidates with same-sex marriage being an option. Which is a pretty big addition if you think about it. If you've been waiting for this mechanic to be in this series for a while, and one of the returning marriage candidates are your favorite, then I'm super happy for you because that's actually pretty awesome. But for those of us that aren't going to, or even those that would but just aren't interested in the specific characters, there really is nothing here. If you're interested in some extra cutscenes and dialogue, sure, maybe, but to me it's still just more of the same all of town writing. And plus, you have to pay extra money for this on top of the game. Like I said before, the expansion pass does come with a bunch of extra stuff on the side, but let's be honest, this was the main attraction of it. This is what got people to be excited for the expansion pass in the first place, even though it cost extra money. If I'm being honest with you, I couldn't actually believe this was all there was to the area. All I could do on stream was laugh about it, but when I got to the Terracotta Oasis, I was 100% expecting it. I knew from taking one look at Windswept Falls what was going to happen to the rest of the areas, and, well, look at Terracotta Oasis. It really is just an empty, hollow feeling, which is kind of what All of Town has given a lot of people overall, myself included at this point. Yeah, I still stand by the fact that I think this game can be fun, and I think there is a good game hidden somewhere under all of this. But the developers are proving that they're content with taking any potential this game had and dropping big, empty DLC areas on top of it to forget about it. Would have loved to see an actual area to explore, new items to forge, anything to make these areas worth it. But again, All of Town proves that it's not looking to do that for us. And it really is a shame. I know this was kind of negative, but I, I really did see the potential here for what this could have been and what this could have meant for all of town, but it really just didn't pan out. But anyway, Windswept Falls or Terracotta Oasis. Have you been to the areas? I mean, if you've been to one of them, you've been to both of them, unless you're interested in the characters. Are you interested in the marriage candidates? Let me know what you think about it all in the comments down below because that's going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one.